hey, look at this code. Does it look okay to you? Yes, really? You should definitely watch this episode of Better VBA. Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. Welcome to the fifth episode of Better VBA. Today I would like to talk about code formatting. Code formatting is actually a very, very basic topic, but nevertheless it is extremely important for the readability of your code. If code is not properly formatted, it is much, much harder to read. So um, that is something that I think is absolutely essential and uh, so I'd like to talk to about that today. What do I mean by code formatting? I think there are three main elements I'd like to cover. The first one is indentation of code. The second is white space in code. And the third one is the handling of very long code lines using the line continuation feature of VBA. And I think we uh, best look at that right on the screen in practice. So I'm, I'm going to take the function I showed you right in the beginning and um, I'm going to reformat that. Here we are. This is the function I used in a previous example already, but I kind of mangled the code to look particularly ugly. So now I'm going to reformat the code and um, so that you are not being too bored, I'm going to speed that up a little bit. Okay, here we are. Now, um, you should see instantly that this is much more readable than it was before. Uh, what I did is I indented the, the subordinate statements of all those is blocks one level and uh, that goes down for each if statement f um, for another level and I added some white space. I added one line here to to separate this block from from the next one to create a more visual separation and um, what what could be done additionally is add another blank line here to to more um, strongly emphasize this one as one block and you could also add another blank line here to do the same but I think most of the time the indentation of this subordinate level is enough to to separate that from the from the um, enclosing blocks so I would most of the time not do that but that, that's absolutely valid as well. Now there's one thing that um, should be done additionally to what I did already look at the, the procedure line. It is very very long and um, you can't even see the whole line. I would break that line down a little bit and doing that um, we use the underscore and then we can simply move stuff to the next line and the underscore symbolizes line continuation. So um, for Visual Basic it just reads this line and then continues with the next line because uh, the underscore indicates that the command on this line um, continues on the next line. And now we can do that for the third line as well. Now we've got this pretty nice block and you can now read all the the function declaration and um, I'm not absolutely sure about that but um, it is at least an option you should know. I could also take the the return value declaration on the next line and um, unindent that a little bit to to make that clearer stand out. So you got uh, the function name on the first line followed by all the arguments to the function and then on a 
last line very very clear to um, distinguish the return value type of the function. Now the, everything inside the function declaration is indented by one line. That would be different if there um, would be some sort of error handler containing uh, jump marks in the code. Let's, let's just add one. Now here is the, the error handler. I inserted that with a, with a tool. This one is on the outermost level. That's how I like it. Uh, some people prefer otherwise. That should not be indented. So, um, yeah, and the, the other thing that is on the root level without any indentation is the exit function that has been inserted here and that uh, jump mark for the error handler. That are the, the only exceptions of code lines I would put. Um, on the root level without any indentation except for the the function declaration. I remove that because that is not the, the primary topic today. So we're almost done. There's one more thing I would like to show you and that is um, this if statement with uh, two conditions. It has the, the check for is null on the potential date argument and it checks the allow null, null values for, um, for the, the boolean value it has. And there's one thing you could do to, to make that even more readable. You can break the if statement in multiple lines using, using line continuation. And then it looks like this. And I really like this kind of formatting because it's um, every condition is uh, below the next and it's in my opinion it's much much better to read especially if there is a nested condition like um, I'm just making this up like or something something oh god else like one, two, three. So now you you got the the two um, top level conditions on uh, one indentation level, and then the um, or statement that is a subordinate condition that is indented one more level, and it's much much clearer to see. Um, how the, the whole conditioning of that if statement is uh, built up. And so that is something I frequently do, but um, I leave that to you if you want to adopt that or not. It might look a little bit unfamiliar if you have never done that, but I, but I really encourage you to think about that because I think it makes um, complex if statements much better readable but I'm going to remove that because that would not compile that way. So now that's that's absolutely fine. Okay, we're done with coding for today. Uh, there's one thing I forgot earlier, so uh, take a look at this before-after view of uh, the code I just edited and um, pay notice to the continued um, if statements that were just on one line most of the time. That is a practice I would absolutely disencourage because it makes your code much, much harder to read. There are very few exceptions where I think it makes sense to use that um, single line if statement. I recommend you rather split that always in an if and then the, the code and the end if on at least three separate lines. Okay. Um, yeah, that is basically what I wanted to show you today. So we are at the end of the episode. I suggest you uh, take a look at um, some of my other videos and if you like the content I'm uploading here, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and bye-bye.